Cash flow is the key foundation to all real estate investments and personal finance. Now, if you can harness and maximize your cash flow and expenses, you are going to absolutely win. That is, if you watch this video all the way to the end. In this video, I'm going to talk about cash flow, ways to increase it, ways to maximize it. And if you're okay with that, let's roll. So I've been investing in real estate for the last 36 years. I bought houses, condos, land, rental properties, and this channel is all about helping you to make smart decisions so that you can put yourself into a position to build wealth, invest smartly, save money, and maybe even one day retire at the beach. So if that's your goal, you're in the right place, smash that like button. Okay, so everybody wants to see more cash in their bank account at the end of every month. Now, I want you to know what I know so that you can start getting checks. You are not going to build wealth without having multiple streams of income. So do you even know what cash flow is? I mean, what it really is? Write this down. Cash flow is all the money that's left over after all of your expenses are counted for. So that can be either a positive cash flow or a negative cash flow. Now, positive cash flow is what we're talking about on here. So that's the money that's left over at the end of the month, right? Now, I just want to show you what happens every single month. So if you start learning from somebody or investing in something, get them to show you what they're doing, right? Sounds simple, but honestly, cash flow is the single most important concept, the most powerful tool for multiplying your income and if you're looking to get ahead in life and make more money. So number one, scrutinize where every nickel is going. Now, if you do this step, in all three levels of your life, you're going to absolutely crush it. So what I'm talking about is scrutinizing every nickel in your personal life, your business life, and your investment life. Look underneath every single rock. Where's your money going, right? Where's it leaking? Including your credit card statements, your checkbook, your debit card, your subscriptions. How about every single outgoing payment? Literally look at every single outgoing expense and ask yourself, is this important? Or is this something I really need to do in order for me to maximize my cash flow? You know, cutting expenses or cutting overhead are quick and easy wins. Trust me, your future is going to thank you. Now, look at what truly and necessarily you need and then consider your options. By cutting expenses, you are going to increase your reserves without adding $1 of income. So it sounds simple, but if you master this step, you're going to get an immediate boost. As a matter of fact, I have real estate clients here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, who analyze every single month their income producing rental properties. Now, they have massive cash flow, yet they still do this every single month. So there must be something here. I also have friends who meet with their accountant once a month. They review their cash flow and expenses. I have one guy who even meets every Friday with his accountant and is consistently finding ways to find efficient cash flow. So no matter what tax bracket you're in, maximizing your expenses, you can help increase your cash flow by maximizing the income that you do have. Number two, increase your income. So before I had money to invest in real estate, you know, I needed a way to increase and maximize my income that I did have. Growing up in my blue collar neighborhood, I always had several jobs and I worked my full-time job. But while I was doing that, I also was buying and flipping cars you know, selling them for a profit, cutting grass, doing odd jobs. You know, this additional income always allowed me to build this little nest egg and then I'd invest that into income producing real estate. So getting a side hustle or a second job or income producing hobby is always a great way to get ahead. Number three, maximize your money. What you're getting paid for with what the work you're already doing. So you find the highest bidder for the services that you're already providing. Now, whether you're scouring a job market, looking for better paying work, or even you upgrade your vacation rental property that you already own, so do you magnetically attract more guests, you know, the Airbnb model? Um, either way, you improve your income and get the best market rate. So if you can do this, you can increase your income without having to rip your entire life apart. So look at areas that have a large demand and just fill that need. It's just a matter of making more and by doing exactly what you're already doing. So it is possible that you can find a better financial compensation for the services that you currently provide. You know, give yourself a raise and increase your cash flow. Maybe you're a business owner. You can grow your business by creating and introducing new high income streams of revenue. And that is the compound effect. Now, I do understand 
There are many life expected events, things that happen in your life that can really throw us off course. It's happened to me, it's happened to you. In business, there's no gray area though. You either are making money or you're losing money. Now, especially guys, if you're self-employed, uh, you know, accurate budgeting, this is what brings predictability and steady growth to your cash flow. So number four, making more, spending less equals investment. Now, this cash flow frees up income so that you can invest more into assets. You provide you with additional streams of income so you're making your money work for you instead of you working for your money. Now, wealthy people, if you watch what wealthy people do, it's a good education because wealthy don't work for money. The money works for them. Just remember that what I said in the beginning of this video, you're not going to build wealth without having multiple streams and flows of income. Now think about assets and not liabilities. Think about streams of income. Think about retirement income. You know, there's good debt and there's bad debt. For example, bad debt is something that I'm paying for. Like if I buy a personal residence, I have to pay for it. Uh, I get a mortgage on my house, I have to pay that debt. But if I have an income producing oceanfront condo, over time, my guests, my tenants have paid off that mortgage. So that would be an example of good debt. So good debt is something that someone else pays off for me. Now, in, this is a lesson in itself because it's like playing the game of Monopoly. Four green houses and one red hotel, right? Remember that game? Now imagine having income producing properties that your tenants and your guests have paid for. They paid it off. Now you have all that income that's flowing to you. Now imagine not having to worry about money. You have your vacations, your travel, your restaurants, your entertainment, it's all being paid for with the monthly income you receive in your assets. And that, my friends, is the power of cash flow. Multiple streams of income sometimes means wearing more than one hat, like this. So if you're having success, you should be proud of it. Everyone wants to be successful, and it's not about the greed of money. It's about the pursuit of personal freedom. So comment below. Let me know what you are working on. I really want to know what's happening in your life. I really want to know. And I truly appreciate you. This channel is all about helping you make smart decisions so that you can put yourself into a position to build wealth, invest smartly, and maybe even one day retire to the beach. So you're one step closer if you smash that subscribe button. Did you do it? Wherever you live in the nation, I'm wishing you massive success. See you in the next video, guys.